Me and Nala with the matching freaking tote bags today. Okay, let's see what's in her bag. Oh my gosh, she closed it. I've never zipped mine before. Okay, well, hers was gonna be funnier because it's, you know, full of mints and stuff. Oh, my cousin's calling me. Although SpongeBob, I feel like it's still Can relevant. You show them mine? Still I'm, relevant right now. It's the, it's the same thing as a Hello Kitty. And I'm gonna be Hirami. No, I'm not Hirami. I'm gonna, gonna be, be my be... melody for Halloween, which is Pot Sanrio. I did not mean to point that at you. I was. <laughs> Sorry, I just. Mm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be uh, Hello Kitty. I'm kid. gonna be Kirami. No, I. My melody. I'm being my melody. Why do I keep saying Kirami? Is it Kirami the uh, the evil one? Yes. Which is why I'm not being Ooh. I mean, though, I'm gonna be right I did Jack Skellington one year, and it, you know what? It always oh. comes out good. What's up, folk, gentle, kind people? Uh, I posted a vlog today. Okay, so we went on a bike ride to another coffee shop, and we created a bike gang called uh, Tour de Cafe. And uh, today there were 10 of us, <laughs> and we went to a different coffee shop, and tomorrow we're gonna go to a different coffee shop, and then I found three other coffee shops that we could also go to and each one is progressively further and further and um this is really the spiciest thing happening like in my life right now and i'm i'm so excited about it but anyway i wanted to make a quick little 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 thing here before we get into today's vlog i posted a vlog today and in it i made a comment about my children they were sitting next to me we were in the car and i said something like yeah look at me i'm showing my love for you by fixing their teeth some of y'all started using that as a reason to talk about other people's parenting. Uh, that was not what I was saying. I was making a joke about how much I love my kids, which obviously I love my kids. I think that goes without saying, but some of you were like, yeah, some of these other parents out here. Ugh. Zip it, zip it. Not everybody can obviously afford to do those types of things. There are things on a, you know, there's a hierarchy of needs. Some people are still working on, 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 on the most you know, important ones on the bottom. Um, so let's shut the, shut the front door. Shut the front door, okay? Shut the front door. Because that was not me encouraging anyone to uh, rag on other people's parenting. I think that's hella rude. And uh, that was not my implication. So if you get offended, then, you know, that's not what I meant, obviously. I was just making a jokey joke to the kids about why I was doing it. My mom couldn't even get all of our teeth fixed, okay. <laughs> Okay, and I don't think that means that Patty doesn't love us. She does. She rode 10 miles <laughs> to get to my house because she went the wrong way. They rode over here and then we all rode together to the coffee shop and it was only like three miles and then we rode the three back to my house and then they rode the additional ones back to their house and so, yeah, they went like 25 miles today. I'm like, wow, you guys are really out here killing the game and I cannot wait till tomorrow because we're gonna do it without the kids. Nala's got a bunch of dental stuff tomorrow, so that'll be the first thing we do. Today, I think I'm gonna do her hair. So I've had one vlog the whole day because, um, well, it's already two o'clock. I still need to hop in the shower. I'm about to have my call, actually, with my surgeon. He's gonna call me in a few minutes here. And um, so I'm gonna have a little chitty chitty bang bang with him. If anything interesting comes of that, I'll share it with you. But I, I imagine, if I had to guess, he's gonna call me in the next 15 minutes. And I imagine what he's gonna say is, hey, yeah, if you wanna come out, you know, I can fix that for you. And he's either gonna tell me how much it's gonna cost or he's gonna tell me that they would be willing to do it for me. Um, we'll see, I don't know. And that's gonna, you know, that's going to determine whether or not I get it fixed because right now I, I'm i not, I'm not in a position to like be spending a ton of money just to get something cosmetic like that done. I don't care enough for me to do it, but um, yeah, well, so I'll let you know. Yeah, that's what that's what the agenda is today. Nella's gonna come home, wash her hair, do all that, and then I'm gonna start on her hair, which it's already gonna be like easily three o'clock by the time I start doing her hair, probably later than that. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's gonna take less than eight hours to do it. We'll see. I don't have any nails on right now, so part of me thinks I should pop on. Oh yeah, and here she comes riding home with Beta. It was so fun seeing all the kids together. But I was thinking I should pop some on because it helps me um, do the parts better and, and braid better. But yeah, it was it was really fun biking with all the kids. We had six, five kids with us, and then there were five adults. And um, we were quite the little spectacle <laughs> when we were all riding together. But it was really fun. I'm having a blast. I really love that this is like, obviously this is creating like, just a great environment for us all to hang out, but then for us to all be super active too when we're hanging out. And I don't really look at it as like exercising anymore because it's just it's just fun. It's a fun thing to do. When I am by myself and it's cold as I don't know what in the morning, feels like exercise. 
but when we're all together in a group definitely nowhere near the same but okay kids are home let me uh let me get my day going no charge for belly revisions and um discounts for being a repeat <laughs> repeat customer a somebody asked what these grapes were called i want to know too <laughs> let me know when you figure it out they ask what they taste like they just taste like grapes like these but the purple version they don't there's nothing extra fancy about them they just taste like purple grapes they're delicious but they just taste like grapes 10 years later okay i ended up boiling this because everybody told me to boil it but now it looks crazy so is it gonna like come back to life or nah? Uh, TBD on that. Got this girl. Her hair needs to be blown, blown out. The signing. I didn't take a shower because I ended up on the phone with a surgeon, but then I ended up on the phone with a, a receptionist. Not the receptionist, but the girl that like schedules. Anyway, <laughs> it was just a lot of chatting. That was a second phone call <laughs> that I wasn't expecting. I mean, I was expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry her hair and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna get start, ooh, Stormy, Stop. you look like mommy, baby. <laughs> yeah, that one's fine. Um, yeah, okay, so this is what, this is our plan for the day and it's so late. We really thought we were gonna do a bike ride, come home and do this. I was thinking starting at 11, it's almost four o'clock. We so. didn't even leave the place to like 11 grades. I know. Last time it took me 11 hours. I'm hoping this time I'm just better. There's less hair. It's just, I'm shooting for eight hours, but by honestly, eight, be like 12 o'clock. I'm hoping to be done by like 11. So I'm going to slip out of my slippers because these are no good. <gasps> the baby. She likes hanging out with girls. Come on. It's a girl's room. The Get your butt in here. Eating the grass. Correct. Crash is not allowed because he eats the freaking plant and then he throws it up. Somewhere out there. Come on, Coco Mel, it's girls time. She almost always comes to hang out with me and all when we're together. She's thinking about it. Let me open this some more. Now you can see what's happening. Like many of you may have guessed, that hair that I boiled was never gonna work. It was never gonna work. It was never gonna get that wave back. Uh, it didn't. So then we were like, what about that box? Those multiple boxes of weave we have upstairs from like, shoot, second grade. Second grade? Kids are in seventh grade. Uh, nah. We tried it, we did like 10 braids, I think. Yeah. And I just, I had a feeling she wasn't gonna love how it looked when it was all said and done. And although I was going like lightning speed, I was going way faster this time because I wasn't using the rubber bands. Um, and I was gluing it? Yeah, I made an executive decision to stop and undo it because Nala was willing to go through it, but I didn't want her to have to, I didn't want us to, to come to a point where she wanted it out and I felt like I just wasted the last 10 hours of my life. You know what I mean? Cause it's still taking me forever. Let's say even eight hours. It's still taking a long time. That's a lot of effort to put in for you not to like something. So instead she's gonna wear this wig all week. <laughs> no, this is my wig from, from when you were cousin. Mrs. White. I was Mrs. White for my cousin's birthday. And Jay was Wadsworth. I don't know who the And L was Mrs. Peacock. This is one of the wigs we have. We have. They wore it literally five years ago. It was. Where you, there's a green one too, but we don't know what it's from. But yeah, so now let's just gonna rewash her hair, bring her curls back, and tomorrow morning she has a dentist appointment. So we were gonna be rushing around tonight anyway, or tomorrow anyway. So we were gonna be probably up very late doing them today because we got such a late start. However, we've decided we're either gonna go visit a hair shop or just find the perfect hair online instead of making it like a whole thing of us trying to make hair work that was never gonna work. Just get you with hair. Well, I looked for human. I don't know where to get good human braiding hair. Like, how do how does that even work? Because I know normally braiding hair has to be like stupid long, and like so, how are they using? Oh, this wig. You know, is like terrible. twenty-two inch hair. I don't think I fully understand that. Oh, this works. wig is actually terrible. I don't know what that wig was for. Because you were gonna be beating this one. Oh yeah, I was gonna make it nasty though, and I had moss, and maybe that was it. Yeah. His mom was gonna be beetle just one year, unless she didn't. What is it? What is it? I had the whole fit. This? Really so, anyway. This doesn't look like penal <laughs> <laughs> I look like a really bad I'm gonna dog. order the hair. We're just cleaning up. We did spend a few hours in here doing everything, but we just. We ended it. You know, sometimes you gotta cut your losses, and and that's okay. We're gonna try again next weekend. You look great, dear. I mean, Thank you. honestly, skip the braids, babe. You're a wig gal. No, I'm not. I'm oh, not. you are. Especially, like, don't tie down your hair you know like let them know I, there's a full head of hair under yeah. here yeah yeah just let like, them see both of it just yeah 
Yeah. It looks yeah, great. Yeah, like a swamp monster. That's what. That's my goal. A swamp monster? <laughs> and then you rip it off and then just... Don't want to hit that. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. <laughs> then you just buy. We'll see you later. You know what I realized is that I don't think I know a single. Or, that's kind of squeaky. I don't think I know like who sings anything anymore because um, something had gone viral at some point here in the last you know whatever this year. Uh, a song that had a cover, and up until like three weeks ago, I was not aware that it was in fact a Taylor Swift song. And I was like, oh, she makes music like this? Cool, I like that song, right? And then I go through life assuming I do not know a single Billie Eilish song. Okay, I'm pretty sure I actually know quite a few Billie Eilish songs. I think that I'm not familiar with her voice, but that I definitely know a bunch of her songs. I just don't realize they're her songs. Anyway, I think that's just the case, period. Anyway, getting ready to take Nally Polly to the dentist. They just texted him. We're like, hey, we have an opening. Feel free to come 30 minutes early. Girl, what? We're 30 minutes away. <laughs> like, we're going to feel free to get there on time. I'm glad you had an opening. And I wish I had known about this sooner because we would have gone earlier because uh, my brother, he lives like 30 miles away. So he's driving in. He did it yesterday too, but he's driving into my parents' house. And then um, they're going to ride from my parents' house over to my house. And then we're going to ride to another coffee shop. But I think it's just the adults. So my parents, my brother, myself, and then I think potentially um, D across the street. So that'll be fun. It is pretty chilly, it feels like, because I went in Jaden's room and closed his windows and it was like pretty, it was pretty cold in there and i'm like oh this is why the house is so cold Jaden sleeping with the windows completely open and 19 blankets if you're gonna have the windows open you cannot have all the blankets on like we got to do one or the other because i'm heating the house now because it's cold enough for that not a whole lot on the agenda so we have dennis the bike ride and then we have sourdough over here doing its thing and the kids go back tomorrow um i don't have a vlog ready for tomorrow like this vlog is not gonna be ready for tomorrow because i don't have enough content at this point but i think i'm gonna edit the book video and post that tomorrow and i feel like a lot of people are gonna be disappointed with that because it's not a vlog and lots of people don't care but um but the ones that do i feel like will really appreciate it so I i'm gonna do it and have a good disposition about posting it um but i think i'll, I'll just take my computer to the dentist because it's an hour-long appointment and i can just edit while i'm there I mean, what else am I going to do? I'm just going to be sitting in the waiting room. It's not like I'm in the room with her anymore. Uh, the kids are, you know, big. So they've always been really great about dental stuff and doctor stuff. Like, um, with the exception of, like, one of them not liking to get shots and IVs and stuff when necessary. But obviously that only happens when it's necessary. So, uh, but the other one's actually really great with, really great with doctor stuff and shots, pills, and whatever. Like, yeah, okay. So that's the plan for the day. I'll probably see you at the coffee shop. I am still reading Hooked. Um, I didn't read it the last couple of days. I was pretty busy. But if I get my work done, I'll jump into this while I'm at the dentist's office. Now you're going to get some groceries. I'm tired. Um, these bike rides are certainly a little humdingers. I don't even think I updated you after I got back. I made it back, obviously. And um, that was fun. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the coffee place. There's nothing really... It's just for me it's not it's not worth a return trip. Um that is such a squeaky door. It's called iconic coffee in Yorkville. It's not that it was bad, it's just like definitely not my vibe. I would rather go to Juice Heads, which is like half a block up. So we're gonna run to Jewel. Most expensive freaking grocery store. I, I hate going to Jewel, but I also ha like I don't have the energy to run to an actual grocery store. Because the closest one's gonna be like 20 minutes away. 15, 20 minutes, yeah, about 20 minutes away actually at this time of day, at least 20 minutes. Um, so, I don't got it in me, y'all. I'm just gonna. <gasps> you know what? Do you know what? Let's go to the mailbox real quick. Oh, I plugged this in yesterday and I forgot all about it. This is my little halo. You guys know my battery, my charger. It tells you the exact pressure of all your bike tires, your car tire, all that. But I filled up every single bike tire yesterday, not just ours but literally all 10 bikes. We did all 10 <laughs> and we made them exact, which was amazing. So I just re-ahead, I re-ahead. I just went ahead and 
I'll fix that later. Whatever. I'm being lazy right now. I'm running on fumes right now. I'm going to regret not going to the store. Let me put it that way. And we decided that tomorrow we're going to ride down the five of us again. Jeffrey's going to come in um, from his house. He doesn't work tomorrow. It is supposed to rain and stuff. Yeah, and the five of us are going to ride to this diner, um, which is right next to a coffee shop. But I think we're going to actually stop to have a full breakfast at the diner, which is on literally the same street as the coffee shop. Um, and this one is going to be about seven miles away from me. And so this will be a 14 miles round trip. And my parents and Jeffrey have been doing roughly 25 miles round trip. So I was like, why don't you guys just start at my house tomorrow? You know, so we can all just go the same amount. I was like, y'all don't gotta go a million miles more than me. And they were like, um, we'll see. I think they like riding a billion miles. And like, I will too eventually but not yet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop at the mailbox. We don't have an actual mailbox at our house, which is so annoying. I asked the lady too, I was like, are we gonna have a mailbox? And she's like, yeah, absolutely, you're gonna have one. And I was like, yes! She lied to me. Why do the salespeople always lie? And we have the key, what I'm excited about. I'm excited about what's allegedly inside of this. Although I don't understand how it fits. Oh my gosh, how did she even get that in there? So excited about it. I saw it the other day. Remember when I posted the matzo pan latte? I was like, hey, if you guys know of any, um, I was gonna say Indian. If you guys know of any Mexican, um, you know, companies, designers, artists, da da da, people who like sell stuff online that, you know, they've modernized or made better um, in some way or, you know, something that you're into. Like, can you tell me about it? And then somebody was like, oh my gosh, you have to follow this chef. And I did. And then the chef is like, look at these bags I have. And I was like, those are nice those are real nice and it's literally like i love using reusable bags when i have them a lot of times i forget them in the car but that's what this is right these are reusable bags by purchasing this piece of art you're not only supporting small business you're supporting artisan families this piece was made with effort and much love for you thank you sincerely ally it's called sincerely ally baby I bought the small B. Why am I doing this in the car? Because I'm annoying. I'm sorry. Look at these freaking Mercado bags, okay? Like, these are obviously bougie-rific Mercado bags. Um, excuse me? The handle, the, oh my god. It's like handmade. Babe, what? These are incredible, okay? All hand-woven. I got that one. Hecho en Mexico, baby. Okay, which I didn't even know that. I assumed they were like made in California. <laughs> Just, you know, I don't know why. The, the page gave me California and Mexican vibe. Um, nothing against that. I got the medium as well. The medium, okay. She's beautiful. And I got the large. These ones are just the basic ones. They're not the ones that close. They're not the ones that are lined. But holy cow. I got the three sizes so they would fit inside of each other. So I could easily take all three. And then put like... You know, I could put my lighter items, oh my gosh, in the big one. Ah! I'm gonna have to show you guys these at the house. I'm gonna literally take these in to, I'm gonna take these in with me when I go to the grocery store. Stop it. She even has purses, like, and they're cute. They're cute. See, they all fit inside each other. Oh my gosh. I was, I've been waiting all week for these. Meanwhile, they were delivered on the seventh. It's, it's, it's four days, three or four days after the seventh. Hey, just rolled up at uh, Jewel. I just started listening to The Intern and it's pretty interesting. I hate having an AirPod in when my hair's up. Like, and I'm around people because I don't like for people to know I have an AirPod in. I want you to think I'm paying attention, which I am because <laughs> I only put one in. But we're gonna go ahead and play it because I just want to get through this and I it's, it's very helpful, you know? But this was, uh, so far it's about like a girl who is in law school and she's trying to get this position with a judge and it turns out that the judge is the one presiding over her brother's case and her brother is like tangled up in some like a drug deal gone bad type of thing and he's like getting caught up and getting threatened by his own lawyer which is like question mark weird clearly there's gonna be something afoot and then the judge's husband had been murdered and it's like was she involved or we don't know yet so that's the premise so far. I'm not sure how creepy crawly this is going to get. I don't know if it's just like 
a domestic like a like a workplace thriller like a you know ooh, are we gonna catch up you know the judge being a little baddie or how, you know whatever I have no idea but I'm on chapter five and entertaining enough I want to I want to stay involved so we're gonna do that and I'm so excited to use these they're so pretty look at the big one the big one has this like giant squishy tassel on it and all the other ones she has are so nice. The lined ones are really nice. Um, these are obviously like, not washable, like they're washable, but not, you're not gonna like put it in the machine. You're gonna like wash it, you know, with the cloth kind of thing. But this just reminds me of Mexico so much. It just makes me so happy. Like, you know, we all, we have the mesh ones, you know, but like these are like legit, bro. These are so nice. I'm so excited to use these like every day. <laughs> okay, not every day, but every day that I go grocery shopping. I'm using them. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna leave you here. This is gonna be boring. Okay, so I've tried this one obviously years ago when it came out, and it just wasn't my favorite because I'm not a big fan of like the pre-mixed stuff. But then one of you was like, one of you was like, Sarah, they came out with peppermint mocha, and now I'm feeling kind of like I need to try it. I need to try it, right? Am I gonna like it? I feel like I'm not, but if I don't, that's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. This is literally mostly just for coffee. That's mostly what we were missing today. I love this whole area though, it makes me so happy. Okay, I don't think we need a grocery haul, but I do wanna show you guys these bags a little bit better. So like I said, this is a larger one. It's obviously handmade, like I said earlier, so you know, it's not gonna be the world's cheapest bag, but I actually thought upon looking at it and then seeing the other videos and people um, reviewing it and stuff, they had really good things to say. So uh, I actually think the price is quite fitting for the quality of the bags. And each one is obviously, um, I wanna say maybe like 10 or 15 bucks different um, in price. So I didn't think it was bad and I'm pretty happy with it now that I actually have received it and get to like see and feel it. Um, I love the, the straps, like the fact that they sewed these on there. I think that makes it look really cool. They have super different ones. I purposely picked these three because I wanted them to almost look like a set. Although to be honest with you, <laughs> They don't really go with that one like that blue is kind of a one-off, but I really like that one um, And the other one that I wanted was sold out so Just for a size reference large medium Small and then like I said she has purses too, but let me just show you from the side They're literally so cute. These are very similar in size. Um, this is definitely bigger, but they're very similar if you're like on the fence you know the medium one would it, it it has quite a bit of room so anyway i just thought i would mention these again and i mean i don't think you need like a full grocery haul uh, they had some stuff on sale so i doubled up on things that i don't own normally i only buy one of like my oat milk i normally only buy one but i bought two because it was on sale two of the lemonades because they were on sale two of the fair lifes because again they were on sale and then i only got one of the orange juices because it was not on sale Oh, but then I got, see I'm not a huge like pumpkin spice girl, like just straight pumpkin spice. I think it tastes fine, but it's not something I like get jazzed up about. But this one is a pumpkin pecan and it was a sugar free one. And it's the Lucerne brand, Lucerne brand, which is Jewel, Albertsons, help me out here. We don't have Albertsons, but I know it's in that family. So there are other grocery stores that have this brand. Um, but yeah, this looked, like a fun time. And then this one, I got the peppermint mochi, which International Delight also has a peppermint mocha that doesn't have sugar added to it. Um, obviously it has an artificial sweetener, but I don't, like historically, I have not normally gelled with International Delight. I don't know why. And then we did get the peppermint mocha soak. Like, it's so cute. It looks like a little sweater. Shake well. Should I just try this one right now? I will forever miss, <laughs> forever miss the freaking chocolate flavored stoke. That is hands on the best one they ever came out with. Then Nala's been taking stuff like this for lunch. This is a different brand. Part of me thinks I shouldn't have tried a different brand because like when, when you get something where she likes it and she's gonna take it on a regular basis, like you really should not be toying with it. But I saw it and it looked like maybe this would be her, maybe it'd be her thing. I only bought two because they're not exactly um the most cost effective the other ones like do they sell them in bulk at costco or sam's because i've never seen them before and the most i've ever seen together is three and i think it's like 10 bucks for three um but if i could get like a 12 pack that would be awesome they're the hillshire farm brand not this brand but like the same idea this almost like a lunchable kind of thing and then the kids begged me to get a pack of pop cards because i almost never buy them and i bought them recently and they were like mom 
And I was like, you guys are little fiends. That's why I don't buy them. But then they were on sale. So I bought four boxes and I just store everything up here because they were on a super good sale. Um, so I'm just gonna like take one box down a week kind of thing, you know? There's only four freaking packs in there, so they fight over it anyway. <laughs> it's, it's great. And then, I don't know, they have like my favorite lettuce on sale. Ah, I love Gotham Green. I don't, I mean, the Windy City Crunch is good, but I like the Butterhead one the best the best, but this one was on sale, so it was like two for six or something, so that's why I got it. And then I couldn't find the freaking popcorn that I wanted, which made me sad, so I ended up with Orville Redenbacher Smart Pop, but I wanted the Pop Secret Smart, Smart Pop, Pop Secret, you whatever, you know what I'm saying? I wanted like this, but the Pop Secret one, because I like that one, but apparently it was a no today, so. I'm gonna put this stuff away, but we're gonna give this a little sippy sip first. I'm in the middle of making a sourdough. I wanted to make a loaf or a sourdough. Yeah, it's a loaf, right? It's a, it's a loaf, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make one for the week. Um, they only last like five days before they start to get a little bit moldy. So if I don't think we're gonna have it, then I just freeze it from like day two or three. If I don't think we're gonna get to it, I'll just freeze it. And then it stays, you know, forever. <laughs> Not forever, but pretty much forever. Like then it just stays fine in the, freezer for a long time. Nope. It's okay. It doesn't taste bad in any way. It's okay. I feel like if I had some ice and maybe a little bit, like a little dash of cream or a little bit more peppermint flavor, like a little syrup or something, then I really, really think I probably would really like it. It's, it's, pulling very mocha to me. It's a very chocolatey, and um, that's my least favorite part of the peppermint mocha. That's usually why I get the white chocolate peppermint mocha, or whatever, the white the white one, because I don't like the chocolatey taste that much. So if this had been available in like the white version, I probably would have loved it. <laughs> but as it stands, I do think it tastes actually pretty good. I just don't, it's just like not my favorite thing, but obviously it's not called hot brew. Keep it refrigerated. When are they gonna come out with a decaf stoke? Can we work on that, guys? Can we work on that stoke, please? If you have a moment, it's in the suggestion box. Many of us have dropped it in the suggestion box. If you would just, please. Please, if you if you hear that noise in the background, that's uh, Lewis on the jump rope, so. He doesn't rap Mary J. Blige like I do while he's jump roping. Different breed, 